What's up? Back with Barber here at the barber shop. I have my breakfast and my coffee. My wife got that for me. I want to kind of talk about, you know, trying to make all your customers happy. So I'm going to call this Barber Shop Talk Episode 1. I'll do a couple of these. You're going to cut a lot of people. And you're going to have some people who are going to be happy as, man, like the best haircut ever. You're going to get some people who are going to be like, eh, not impressed. Well, they won't tell you that. You'll hear it secondhand. Or, and the thing is, you got to realize you got to filter it because you got barbers in your shop. You got to kind of take it with a grain of salt because it might have been one of those barbers. Hopefully it's not you as the owner, but... It could have been one of the barbers. I mean, it could have been you. It's even even me. I got some people who I'm their number one fan. Yeah, you know, they're my number one fan. And you know, I get some people like cut and I cut them one time. So it happens to me too, and I've been cutting a long time. Like for instance, I got a guy on Saturday. He gave me a two hundred dollar tip because he was happy with his cut. I had a guy I cut yesterday. He texted me and said, "Bro, seriously, it's the best cut I ever had in my entire life." Then you get the people who, you know, who weren't too happy because the thing is, hair is different, man. The biggest problem is colics. A lot of these kids got colics. They're hard to deal with, man. And sometimes they're going to stick up unless the parents want to go shorter on the top. But they don't. They want to keep it long. They don't get it. So it's kind of like whose fault is it? I mean, no one knows. But don't kill yourself because you got, you didn't make one person happy. You know, because the way I see it, my ratio is, since I've been open, I've probably got, I don't know, over 100 clients, a little more. And I've only heard one negative thing of one customer saying it, like, they just said they weren't impressed. So I guess, it, you know, they've had a better haircut before. It could have been me, it could have been my barber, other barber I was working here, which used to, doesn't work for anymore. But, I mean, it is what it is. But my whole point is, don't let that beat you down, man. You got to remember, even if you just started cutting... Even if you think, damn, I got to clean myself up. I'm looking rough. Anyway, my bad. Even if you're just like not the best barber, your fades are, for a sense, pretty garbage. You are someone's favorite barber, no matter what. Even if you can't even do a lineup, someone says you're their favorite barber. Always remember that. There's always someone that's your number one fan that will be that will say you're their favorite barber. So don't get beat up over you know the one person whose hair didn't come out right hair is different man you know the way colics fall you know the way hair falls you got asian hair mexican hair spanish hair white hair black hair so you're not going to get every haircut perfect my motto i tell people i'm not the best i try my best and i think that that's something that you should just always keep in your mind and your only competition should be yourself don't Look at Instagram and see these fake painted lineups that people push them back and then put paint on it. Not everybody, but all the paint and stuff, that's paint, man. Look into these fades. The ones that look like, I mean, people can do a blurry fade, don't get me wrong. I've done a couple of them. Very rare. They make it real blurry, real hard. But most of these fades have paint. They went by with an airbrush. A lot of them on Instagram. So, and they're doing it for Instagram, so I get it, you know. But... You know, don't don't let that knock you down. Just 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 keep it up and remember that you're gonna be good. Repetition makes you good. And to get good in plain English, you gotta fuck some heads up to become good. Cause so once you do that, you realize what not to do. And you build that in your arsenal. But I hope this helped you guys out. All you newcomers out there, just just keep cutting hair. Don't focus on Instagram don't focus on them pictures look at people doing natural cuts without Instagram all right look at people who are doing cuts with no enhancements focus on those before you decide to do enhancements but otherwise remember your only competition is yourself compete with yourself my whole uh, my whole thing is I strive to do a cut better than my last cut so when I cut this customer I try to make it better next time and try to make it better next time. And there's gonna be some days you're gonna have a, a, a off day. I get that sometimes. 
I'm like, man, I couldn't get none of these Blenisaders to work. I mean, I mean, they all look good, but for me, I'm like, man, a little dark spot here. Just, it's just sometimes you get those days. You know, it's like a writer's block. I mean, when you're writing, you can't remember a story to write. It's the same thing with barbers. When you just you get those days, where your hand just ain't flowing right. You know, you, your motor skills ain't working. But <clears throat> I'm here to tell you guys, don't be discouraged. Do your thing, all right, and make your only competition yourself. And don't let that one customer who's not happy with your cut distract you. That's all right. For every one customer who's not happy, 20 more love you. 20 more think you're the best. And out of those 20, five of them think you're the top barber. So I hope this helped out people, bring your morale up. But like I said, this is Barber Talk, episode one. I'll come back with some more stuff. If you've got more topics you want me to talk about or touch on, leave them in the comments below. Appreciate it. Out.